Well, there's a scene in the movie where Bonnie brings Clyde a gun into jail. Where'd you get that? That isn't important. Bullshit, it's not. Don't want you getting mixed up in this. Just say Clyde, take the gun. And I think that that was the solidifying moment where Clyde knew she was in it for the long haul. She was willing to do a very illegal activity. Clyde Merrill, if anything's meant to be between us, I think it better start being now bringing him a weapon into jail to escape with. She kind of cemented her loyalty, and he made that choice to break out of jail and really pursue that criminal life. Clyde offers for Bonnie a life that's far more exciting than the humdrum existence she's living at the moment that she meets him. She wants to date like this bad boy, like he is, and she craves adventure, and he wants someone that's on board in that way. I think for Bonnie, and from what I've read in a few books as well, as much as she likes to get her own way and wants to manipulate, this is certainly a, there was a strength and control about Clyde, which Bonnie enjoyed. It's the idea of the bad boy. He's already been in prison, and he can lead her in, in exciting ways, but also is incredibly loving and loyal, and. Certainly whenever they're on the run and she's in a, a dire situation physically, he's caring. I ain't gonna leave you back. And so they have quite a tumultuous relationship in the script, which is what, what people love, right? What makes life exciting. Yeah, to be able to fight and break up and make up. And Bonnie and Clyde certainly have that. Their relationship is not a one-dimensional relationship. There's moments where they'll be in the middle of a robbery and they'll start like having like a domestic bicker fest. What the hell are you telling my damn names for? I'll huh? put that down. You see how volatile at times their relationship was. They were really kind of a crazy couple. I don't know what you're yelling for. I got him where you told him to go. Because it ain't damn Bonnie and Clyde, all right? It's Clyde and Bonnie. They just have such a sweet and real relationship. They're kind of like a, they're a bickering couple, but uh, a bickering in love young couple, but against this backdrop of crime that's slightly surreal. 